Definition of Accession, Accretion, Alluvian, and Avulsion 1. Right of Accession, it is the right of the owner to everything that is produced, incorporated, or attached thereto naturally or physically. 2. Accretion, the act by which the land bordering a stream or body of water increase its area by action of the river current or other natural process. 3. Alluvian, refers to the soil deposited in the process of accretion. 4. Avulsion, the process by which the current of the river, creek, or torrent segregate from an estate a known portion and transfer it to another estate. Definitions A. Acquisition cost for newly acquired machinery not yet depreciated and appraised within the year of its purchase, refers to the actual cost of the machinery to its present owner, plus the cost of transportation, handling, and installation at the present site. B. Actual use refers to the purpose for which the property is principally or predominantly utilized by the person in possession thereof. C. Ad valorem tax is a levy on real property determined on the basis of a fixed proportion of the value of the property. D. Agricultural land is land devoted principally to the planting of trees, raising of crops, livestock, and poultry, dairying, salt making, inland fishing and similar aquacultural activities, and other agricultural activities, and is not classified as mineral, timber, residential, commercial or industrial land. E. Appraisal is the act or process of determining the value of property as of a specified date for a specific purpose. F. Assessment is the act or process of determining the value of a property, or proportion thereof subject to tax, including the discovery, listing, classification, and appraisal of properties. G. Assessment level is the percentage applied to the fair market value to determine the taxable value of the property. H. Assessed value is the fair market value of the real property multiplied by the assessment level. It is synonymous to taxable value. I. Commercial land is land devoted principally for the object of profit and is not classified as agricultural, industrial, mineral, timber, or residential land. J. Depreciated value is the value remaining after deducting depreciation from the acquisition cost. K. Economic life is the estimated period over which it is anticipated that a machinery or equipment may be profitably utilized. L. Fair market value is the price at which a property may be sold by a seller who is not compelled to sell and bought by a buyer who is not compelled to buy. M. Improvement is a valuable addition made to a property or an amelioration in its condition, amounting to more than a mere repair or replacement of parts involving capital expenditures and labor, which is intended to enhance its value, beauty, or utility or to adapt it for new or further purposes, and, industrial land is land devoted principally to industrial activity as capital investment and is not classified as agricultural, commercial, timber, mineral or residential land. O. Machinery embraces machines, equipment, mechanical contrivances, instruments, appliances, or apparatus which may or may not be attached, permanently or temporarily, to the real property. It includes the physical facilities for production, the installations, and appurtenant service facilities, those which are mobile, self-powered, or self-propelled, and those not permanently attached to the real property which are actually, directly, and exclusively used to meet the needs of the particular industry, business or activity and which by their very nature and purpose are designed for, or necessary to its manufacturing, mining, logging, commercial, industrial or agricultural purposes. P. Mineral lands are lands in which minerals, metallic or non-metallic, exist in sufficient quantity or grade to justify the necessary expenditures to extract and utilize such materials. Q. Reassessment is the assigning of new assessed values to property, particularly real estate, as the result of a general, partial, or individual reappraisal of the property. R. Remaining economic life is the period of time expressed in years from the date of appraisal to the date when the machinery becomes valueless. S. Remaining value is the value corresponding to the remaining useful life of the machinery. T. Replacement or reproduction cost is the cost that would be incurred on the basis of current prices, 
in acquiring an equally desirable substitute property, or the cost of reproducing a new replica of the property on the basis of current prices with the same or closely similar material, and, you, residential land is land principally devoted to habitation. Fundamental Principles A. Real property shall be appraised at its current and fair market value. B. Real property shall be classified for assessment purposes on the basis of its actual use. C. Real property shall be assessed on the basis of a uniform classification within each local government unit. D. The appraisal, assessment, levy, and collection of real property tax shall not be let to any private person. E. The appraisal and assessment of real property shall be equitable. Kinds of land ownership 1. Full ownership this includes all the rights of an owner. 2. Naked ownership, an ownership where the right to the use and the fruits has been taken by another, as in usufruct. 3. Sole ownership, where ownership is vested in only one person. 4. Co-ownership, where ownership of the land as a whole is vested in two or more persons. Modes of acquiring land ownership. 1. Public grant a different administrative method of acquiring public land, such as homestead or free patent. The Spanish government distributed lands by issuing royal grants and concessions to discoverers, settlers, vassals and other varied forms. Because of these grants and concessions, titles to land were acquired by the respective grantees. 2. Adverse possession or prescription, the continuous, open, adverse possession in the concept of owner for the period fixed by law. However, land title under the Turin system of registration cannot be acquired by prescription or adverse possession. 3. Accretion, the process by which soil is deposited to lands adjoining the banks of rivers. Article 457 of the Civil Code provides that the owners of land adjoining the banks of rivers are also the owners of the accretion which they gradually receive from the effects of the current of the waters. 4. Reclamation, the filling of submerged land by deliberate acts such as the reclamation of Manila Bay. 5. Voluntary transfer or private grant the execution by the owners of the appropriate documents transferring ownership to another. 6. Involuntary alienation or involuntary grant, the process by which the land is taken against the consent of the owner. Examples are expropriation proceeding, execution of judgments, tax sales, and foreclose of mortgage. 7. Descent, the acquisition of land by virtue of hereditary succession as an heir. 8. Device, the acquisition of land by a person through the will of an owner or testator. 9. Emancipation Patent, the grant of agricultural lands to tenants farmers in the implementation of the land reform program of the government. RA 6657 CARP Real Estate Service Act of the Philippines or Republic Act 9646 Section 2 Declaration of Policy the state recognizes the vital role of real estate service practitioners in the social political, economic development and progress of the country by promoting the real estate market, stimulating economic activity and enhancing government income from real property-based transactions. Hence, it shall develop and nurture through proper and effective regulation and supervision a core of technically competent, responsible, and respected professional real estate service practitioners whose standards of practice and service shall be globally competitive and will promote the growth of the real estate industry. Section 3 Definition of Terms As used in this Act, the following terms shall mean a. Appraiser also known as valuer refers to a person who conducts valuation slash appraisal, specifically, one who possesses the necessary qualifications, license, ability, and experience to execute or direct the valuation slash appraisal of real property. b. Assessor refers to an official in the local government unit, who performs appraisal and assessment of real properties, including plants, equipment, and machineries essentially for taxation purposes. 
This definition also includes assistant assessors. C. Real estate refers to the land and all those items which are attached to the land. It is the physical, tangible entity, together with all the additions or improvements on, above, or below the ground. D. Real estate development project means the development of land for residential, commercial, industrial, agricultural, institutional, or recreational purposes, or any combination of such including, but not limited to, tourist resorts, reclamation projects, building or housing projects, whether for individual or condominium ownership, memorial parks, and others of similar nature. E. Real estate developer refers to any natural or juridical person engaged in the business of developing real estate development project for his slash her or its own account and offering them for sale or lease. F. Real property includes all the rights, interests, and benefits related to the ownership of real estate. G. Real estate service practitioners shall refer to and consist of the following. 1. Real estate consultant a duly registered and licensed natural person who, for a professional fee, compensation, or other valuable consideration, offers or renders professional advice and judgment on, i, the acquisition, enhancement, preservation, utilization, or disposition of lands or improvements thereon, and, 2, the conception, planning, management, and development of real estate projects. Two. Real estate appraiser a duly registered and licensed natural person who, for a professional fee, compensation, or other valuable consideration, performs or renders, or offers to perform services in estimating and arriving at an opinion of or acts as an expert on real estate values, such services of which shall be finally rendered by the preparation of the report in acceptable written form. 3. Real estate assessor a duly registered and licensed natural person who works in a local government unit and performs appraisal and assessment of real properties, including plants, equipment, and machineries, essentially for taxation purposes. 4. Real estate broker, a duly registered and licensed natural person who, for a professional fee, commission, or other valuable consideration, acts as an agent of a party in a real estate transaction to offer, advertise, solicit, list, promote, mediate, negotiate or effect the meeting of the minds on the sale, purchase, exchange, mortgage, lease, or joint venture, or other similar transactions on real estate or any interest therein. 5. Real Estate Salesperson, a duly accredited natural person who performs service for, and in behalf of a real estate broker who is registered and licensed by the professional regulatory board of real estate service for or in expectation of a share in the commission, professional fee, compensation, or other valuable consideration.